Hi everyone, this is Angie with Stampin' with Amore and I had quite a few requests to show how to make the box that um, I used for the little 3x3 three three cards that I made and to show how to make the envelopes. Now both of these are made with the Stampin' Up! envelope punch board and I'll show you how that's done. So these are the little cards that I I made and I made the matching envelopes for them. So I'm going to show you first how to do the envelopes and then I'll show you how to do this box that they fit, all fit in. So let's get started and for the 3x3 three three envelope you'll need a piece that's 5 and 1 quarter by 5 and 1 quarter. And this is the envelope punch board and I'm sure a lot of you have seen these before but what you'll, you're going to do for this is there's a list you can make so many different size uh, envelopes or boxes with this it's not just for envelopes it's I can't do without this especially when you make odd size cards you can always find the measurement on here and you can make your own envelope so it's really a really handy tool so when I looked at this, it says three by three here, and it says five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So that's the size cardstock you want to use. Now you first go your first punch and score is going to be two at five eighths, and it tells you right here. So I'm going to get this little tool out here. So this is what I need for it. So I'll go to the two and five eighths inch mark here and I'm going to punch and then you just score. Now you're going to just turn it and you're going to start following this score mark right here and you'll line it up with this little point right here. So now all you're doing is you're going to punch again and score. Then you turn it again and follow this next line and line it up with this little point again here. Punch and score and the same for this side and you're going to punch and score and you can see your envelope already taking shape so then the next thing that you're going to do is this also rounds corners so I'm going to round two of the corners you can round them all and let's just go ahead and round them all while we have it out Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to just show you how to get put this together really quickly. So all you do, sharpen up your score marks. And what I usually do is I use my fast fuse or my sticky strip. And I just put one little dot there and then I run it on the sides here. So that's that and then just fold that up and your little 3x3 three three envelope is made just like that and you can also if you want to seal it I can sometimes I'll seal it if it's going in the mail I just stick fast fuse on here and I seal it and it stays really well so that's the envelope so it's super easy and super quick with the envelope punch board so I'm going to bring this back up and to do the box, we're going to do it a little bit different. Now, I don't have the measurements on here for um, this box, but I'm going to tell you how I did this. And I used a 7 and 1 quarter by 7 and 1 quarter. And I had a, it was kind of trial and error to get the size box I wanted, but um, it came out good. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a 2 and 5 eighths and then I'm going to score it and then I'm going to move it over two inches because I want it to be two inches thick so you go to four and five eighths punch it and score it and then we're going to turn and now we're going to follow these lines so the first one line it up with your little point here punch it score it scoot it over to the next line punch it and score it and then rotate it again do the exact same thing 
and you're going to do this all the way around. So move it over, punch it, and score it, and then turn it, punch it, score, and one more time, punch it, and score it. So that's it for that one. Now, to put this one together, it's a little bit different. You have flaps, so you need to cut into these to the first score mark. And you're going to do that on both sides of this. And I also want to round the corners on these. It always looks nicer to me. You can leave them pointed if you like them that way better, but why not just round them? Gives it a little bit of a fancier edge. Okay. So now I stamped this and I used this Papillon Potpourri and I used this little butterfly here to stamp on the outside and I just did it the same four colors that I made the envelopes and the cards with. So then we are going to, to put this together, we're going to sharpen all our score marks. What we'll do first is I'm going to put a little bit of Fast Fuse on this point here and we're going to just join it to this side. So that'll get us started there. Now I'm going to bring these little tabs in and I'm going to put Fast Fuse on here. Oops. And you will pull that up, line it up. And then on this one, you can cut in like you do on your, because they they always fold in a little bit better like you do when you're creating a box. And another way to make it look a little bit nicer is to round these little points. You don't have to, but oh, didn't get that quite right. I'm just going to round that off. But you can do it I did it with the punch before. You don't have to do that. You can just leave it as it is. And then you'll just tuck these in and fold it over and you can tuck this in just like that. So that's the box to hold the cards. So where are the cards? And we'll just put them all in with the envelopes and it fits perfectly in this little box. And you have plenty of room. You could probably even add another card if you wanted to. But it, those fit really well. So that's it. So for those of you who wanted to see that, um, I hope that was helpful. And if you need any of the product, or if you want the Stampin' Up! Envelope Punch Board, you can go to my blog at Stampin' with Amore and shop right from there. And um, everybody, the retiring list is up on my blog if you're interested in some of the retiring product from Stampin' Up! So that is it, everyone. I hope you have a great day and you enjoyed the video today. Bye.